So in Barbero concept of sound and guitars, we came from the evolution AG made from guitars like this, right? With the sound port and then with different experiments on the bridge, etc. And then came from this sound. from this concept of sound to this other concept of sound. far superior to the even to the original Barberos at that point and then it appeared the maple fretboard so AG came up with of course different modifications inside and all these things plus the fretboard we show you this fretboard uh, the double fretboard triple fret triple fingerboard this here this a fantastic vehicle to playability now with three divisions and then this this here which has a double a double fretboard one of maple and one of brazilian nasberry so then we came from there to this concept of sound <laughs> Then from there, it comes the Simplicio idea after this this point, and then now you know it is represented by the by the Madrid School of Guitar Making are guitars like this, right, with the center sound port. It does with center sound port, and then AG even working towards the the cutaway Barbero with lateral sound port and very interesting models this year as well. This was great, great evolution. And then going towards models like this, which have, which are the, the, the conclusion. And after, you know, after 80 years, nobody did it in Spain, except for AG. And therefore, Francisco Simplicio is the Stradivari of the, of the guitar, of the Spanish guitar, actually, but only few people knows. This is one thing because he came up with this beautiful idea of a double sound port and AG realized it uh, nowadays. So that's a great thing to say because this is important. And in fact, the very whole major record for Paco, I used some of this. Check it out. So I play some for you. <laughs> Thank you. 
post at the description the links for you to see if you, in case you want to watch them apart. But yeah, this is was one one great thing. And then also with 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 the double D shape sound ports, I, I worked this in recordings and experiment many things. Thanks Paco and thanks to AG. Now we have the possibility to to play beyond the, the normal and to, to do different things with, with the simplicity guitars. And, and therefore the line of Barbero that AG is presenting is as extraordinary as it can be. Right?
different to other reviews because, well, you know, there's many ways to to explain a guitar too and to, to, to understand it from different perspectives and from our own filters or capacity to to play it also because otherwise we don't understand really well what it is the thing but the particularities of these guitars because th these two I am presenting them together because this is a pair of guitars one on this um, with 24 frets has 6, 640, uh, 634 of a scale, length scale, which should be the, the standard. And this is the, the one like pa pa Paco used in 660. And it's a very powerful guitar, this guitar here. It's just the size exactly how, how Paco like it. Because it's a, pa it's a, it's a male, really, uh, a male guitar. Actually, and this is a super guitar. It's the maximum you can get on the on, again on the center sound port idea. I had one which I will post the, the in this video because from years ago we always have the best one which came out, and nowadays this is this two and this small one too. Actually, not too small because actually if you if you see. Uh, I, I do have a, a, a hand, uh, 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 pretty small, right? So for people who have hands like me, this is the, the standard. Although in classic guitar they will say that this 650, but this is not true. And it's slightly bigger than me, then this is a perfect guitar, the 660, because you have room there to play. Therefore, ergonomics matters. And this thing and and also because of explaining what is the you know uh, about the, the strengths and weakness of each guitar which has it, it has to have it because no guitar has everything that's why we keep buying one another every year hoping that this will be the one <laughs> but there will also always come a different possibility because when I, I just play one chord here Play first. And the voice I the voice the voice I get is very different than this one. Pure power, this both guitars, but it's different instrument at the same time. This is the best guitar you can get in center sound port.
for each string, there is a whole world of, you know, see, this thing, no, it's, in, in Spain, it's impossible to get a guitar like this today, with this characteristic, check the trebles. <laughs> C major. Right? Then let's say in B flat major. And it's the same brilliant uh, thing, no? This is, this is a, 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 a concert full side guitar made with the top tune in B. But this is a. That's why I choose this piece to play. But I wanted to do a review more about the, the guitar and the technicalities it has because this is the whole history of Spain in here, really. If you see, because if you see who is Santos and who is Barbero, it's the, it's the main line of the instrument as we know uh, today. Because in the 50s, you know, Axopaco's favorite guitar wasn't Marcelo Barbero. The original one from 1940s. People ask that what's the difference. I've seen three or four in my life. It's difficult to see one. I was lucky. Poor Gino de Aure, he had, and he wanted to sell me one when I didn't have to the 2000 bucks to, 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 to get it, but and then he died. He had, he, he had two, and he was a friend of Paco also. So this Barbero thing is a whole mystery. <laughs> in Japan, it's where there is the, the best collection of, of, of Arcángel Fernández and of Barbero guitars also. Because people who know about guitar is there in Japan. It's very, very educated in guitar, these people. More than in Spain, actually. So this is very interesting. And Paco played there, always happy. This is the only place that never complains about the sound or anything. So anyway, the thing is that, that because you, you need a guitar which has everything rounded of its style, right? Because you, need the, you know there is, there is Caucasian, brunette, uh, uh, blonde, many types of, of, of people you know about. This is, this is just the combinations of different things, including the violin system, because the, because the, the fretboard is round. And it's that this guitar is adapted to be suited for, for any kind of action, from classical action or normal, what, it, what was designed from the book, like is this. Let me turn down the, the game because this, this, this guitar is very powerful. say generally to 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 make a review one is that people say well play pieces there <laughs> yeah but but the, the thing is about every string and then it matters tests like this First string. So we have. Look at this this F. <laughs> Pretty strong, and this F is totally out of the you know of the thing of B because because it will be F sharp to be harmonic with that. Leonard Bernstein said why the major chord is the natural chord because it contains it, every note contains it already and then you know what this they said that, that, that why you know major music is, is happy and why minor music is, is minor chords are sad 
and Leonard Bernstein said why because the because every note has some harmonics there and then one of the harmonics which are there you know the, the octave and the, 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 the fifth mm -hmm. then the major third right there which is look this this sound inside this if you see when I play this then you notice the note and now when I play just the E this also rings so look In fact, if you see, it has the note there. So then, if, if we include a minor third there, this creates a shock. <laughs> Leonard Bernstein said, great, the great uh, Lenny, Lenny Bernstein. And then, well, he explained that how it is it, just the major uh, scale is, is so natural to the, to the thing. And why the minor chord, we, the, we interpret it as a tragedy or as a, some, you know, the passionate thing or something uh, of the mode of passion, actually, you know, more or less, if you will. And then, therefore, because you know the violin, there is a, the red violin movie, and this is a red, by the way, also, which was Paco, so by the way, who changed the color to orange and red. And he said, no, I want red. Red, how is it possible? Because you know before, if you see any picture, or before the, in the 50s and the 60s, every guitar player, flamenco guitar player, has only the guitar yellow. It has never other color, but yellow only. <laughs> and then Paco had this idea along with his own, his work of, of, of bringing the negra to the, to the scene to the equation, the negra guitar. Because before, remember, there was this Dem Cypress thing, which is, is actually to be avoided all life. Like Paco did, avoided it, and that's how, because the story you know that he saw, he watched some guitars made by the great luthier, the grandfather, Hermann Hauser, from Germany. And he had the perfect fretboard too, like AG2. It's the only guitar that tunes also in Spain. No guitar tunes because it's inaccurate the placement of the frets. It's just to begin with. That was Paco said when, when I when I went to say it, to tell him that then he said, oh, dijo, te ves si no nos vamos a ver acostumbrados ahora a, a oír mal esto y estamos ya con, ya con el oído hecho polvo de, de, del hábito. ¿no? Because he said that, that that hopefully we are not now with the habit of listening so many years the wrong thing and that we took it for this is to write tuning and it's not right <laughs> most probably because he was a man that a man that doubt about many things and that's how he reinvented flamenco and the guitar itself the morphology because the more the guitar was played like this before and then we cannot hold the, the negra like that and these two guitars here we have these two views these are the new models of the Marcelo Barbero line, which is, you know, the center of San Juan guitar. And this here has actually 24 frets. So until E will go, that one there, right? So this is, this is B, and then finally this here only has until B. And then, of course, the size of the of the port and these other sides are different which change the equation also of the sound so it's slightly different both but uh, anyway incredible guitars uh, this here has the radius fretboard and it is also made with the with a triple fretboard and double fingerboard this for Brazil and Nashbury it has a very, very accurate bridge, the excellence of the bridge of, of AG is very prominent with this wing being thinner and this longer and thicker because this is the treble side. So it's a very special guitar. In fact, inside, well, let me show you the incredible wood that it has, the, the tone wood which was used to, to make it. This excellent Brazilian rosewood. 
Yes, this is the World 20 Year Sage. Of course, I'm, I'm, I'm look at the, at the sites. Oh my God, this is, this is really blood palisander. It's palisander wood. And this one, same. Same wood. Uh, here we have it. So, as you see, this is also same kind of, of, of materials. Like this. Then inside it has also new things because here we can appreciate more or less that the let me see if, if I can do it a bit of a zoom again. So you see how this has a star in the there in the back which gives a very special resonance. Then of course it has the scalloped part from the 12th fret to the to the note B there, which we can, we can appreciate here from this point this here. So we get that there. This is the only way to really ensure that it will never happen what happened with all traditional guitars always that the, the sooner or later it will break from here or from the other side. So this, this will never happen here. Um, well, this is more than one credit in guitar really. An excellent instrument. And this as well. Okay, it's like felt for Palisanto. This has the, the, the fretboard made of satin wood actually. And it's also on radius. And also with this scalloped part here. And a beautiful design of the of the fretboard to continue here until the E. So we have four octaves now and the very extraordinary idea of using a rosette that goes from more to less. Uh, it contrasts very, very nicely. This guitar has also has a satin bridge, also with the with the thinner wing and shorter of the left, and thicker and shorter to the treble side. You also see this guitar here. This is the guitar we we just see. Of this Jamaican line. Okay, so this is a beautiful work of also the Matica here, the rosette. And made the permanent light paint, and this as well. Because I want to do a very different review for this guitar. And because I, I did have every model from 20 years ago also. And the last one I, I played that was great was also a red guitar. I will I will post it which guitar it is to show you a minute of that. But uh, this is very interesting because the the how we can say optimization of the Barbero line came only happening here, maybe because of this perfection the curious it has on the bridge and this is a very interesting thing. All the liberated top concepts from the of, of Barbero to this revolutionary way to to have this scalloped uh, uh, bars, the superior bars. Let me see if I can show you here better. Mm. Probably six, yeah. This could be. See this, here you see. It's a with this Barbero. Also with an, with an, without an underbridge, this, this has two bars, the transversal bars and the star in the in the back here you can see very clearly so this is where the sound is produced and where, where it is designed actually because these things have to be designed to the internal part is very important also and this is a totally revolutionary instrument and 
well, beautifully done. So many congratulations to Michael for this guitar and thanks for lending it to me for the review of this incredible model of the Barbero line. Remember that the only disciple of Barbero was Archangel Fernandez and not any Regis thing. How, however, he said it himself, Regis, that he was that uh, after he met Barbero for one day, then he died. So there's a video of that. So the, the story of the, of the center sample guitar is very relevant because this is the guitar that we know, right? While uh, the Simplicio line like that, it is very, this is the Barcelona school of, of, of guitar making. Well, this is the Madrid school of guitar making. So, uh, and this is very revolutionary because this is the maximum you can do with a center sound port that has a lateral sound port as well, which is also slightly different to this of the other guitar. Let me know. This is very interesting to, to, to see these technicalities properly. Yeah, it is different in this, the shape. So, the shape and the placement from from this point of the heel to the beginning of the of the lateral sound portal because why because here the thing would be that this is how it will be an expansion of the sound so in order to expand the sound this is what it has to be done and then it circulates because if it doesn't have the sound port, then we have a problem if you stop with this thing. And then the incredible machine uh, head, instead of the, substitu the substitution of the machine head, is the Widner German pegs, the the excellent pegs. These ones are incredible, the turning both sides, and then you don't need to press anything. It just has a, an internal mechanism which is very uh, hard to die, let's say, because uh, it's difficult that you break one of these, very difficult, and I, I change so many, many strings, strings every two days will change. And don't tell me, because Paco was changing every day. <laughs> so, the base set, the base set, right, because the trebles are not to be changed, but this, so many strings, I you know in one year how many strings I put them, this is fantastic, so I, I put them on the fire test. And then, of course, it has the zero fret as well, this year. And the satin breeches is just an incredible thing with the radius. This is a, very, a really work of art, the guitar. Mm. And then the side, right? And you can see this in, in the star there. And all these implementations, you see, because these bars here, which are, generally speaking, the guitar has on the top, bars like this, this, this way, and those ones, because in AG they design, this is the only guitar in the world which has this. <coughs> Look at how it has not complete the wood there, but it has some, like, uh, another opposite of radius thing, uh, and then taking wood from there, what happens is that it liberates the top vibration because all is about the vibration and how, of course, the guitars are tuned in a particular tuning, which we will see technically now what is the technicality of this thing for Ned and for everyone because people should know about the instrument itself because this is a whole magic thing actually that you have here in your hands. So, very, very nice thing. The fact that he is the only one that has for man for a really a small hand even for children or for ladies there is six 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 ten of, of action then there is six thirty four which is at least this I would say this is really the standard I don't know why they someone arbitrarily said it's six six fifty but believe me this is not true and I, and I know about this because I, 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 I argue with Paco this, that, but Paco, I have very small hands like that. And he said, no importa, this has to be done like that anyway. Like that. So he said, what are you saying? This doesn't matter. And that, you see, he never believed he was a genius. This was a problem. So, because of course, it doesn't affect the, 
the, the length of the string, which has extra that one, then it will be compensated some other way. The tuning is just little. Check the, the, the sustain it has. Maybe with one note. All this vibration. And then another extra advantage that this guitar, this this have in the head, this top model has 65 millimeters from the first to the 16. So it's the biggest guitar in the story. It's the first time AG created. This is different from any Barbero for this reason also. Because it has this Paco it said always more, 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 and then so you know, here Luthier freaked out. Except for AE that follow the line of Archangel because they belong to the line of Archangel Fernandez. And then the only disciple of Barbero, actually. This is the only inheritor and the only successor, let's say. And he retired like 12 years ago and went to live to Canary Island too because he's a, he's a rich man now. So he's a very. made. He had five, five, four years of, of waiting list in that time because there was only one person making that like this. So, but he was from other time. It is not from our times, but he was a disciple of Arbero. So then therefore, because the passwords on, on where to glue what, it has said, say, five bars. And then where, where do you start to glue it? It will not be with a machine there, but you know, this has to be... Uh, it this is a tribal side, that, that <laughs> it's all a whole complex thing. And what Maestro also, Benu from, from Germany, who is the guy that restored, restored uh, restaurated the, the, this is the restoration of the Leona guitar, commemorative guitar, you know, more than 100 years ago of Torres, uh, who was very prominent in the in the advancements that the guitar had in the last century, etc., etc., explaining about the Icelands of the harmonics inside the bars. So every, if you start gluing this or gluing that, this is not the same. You have a password of five digits there, five, five freaking digits, and these things. So Barbero told this to Arcangel only, to one person. Arcangel told it to these guys, and, and then it continues the line this way. Because this is knowledge that you have to, you cannot experiment like that with five digits. This way, how many that you will have to, 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 to make to, to come to the right password to sound like this. So you, tell that, that you don't need to talk about it because it's just so great that... And that one's same. See? Same one. doesn't exist, you know, just some days ago, again, I told one guy, because he was saying, well, you know, when I play well, then I will get a nice guitar. <laughs> then I said, well, unless you get the first nice guitar, you will never play well, actually, because what does it mean learning to play guitar? Learning to play guitar means that we learn to develop a good sound with it, right? And if a guitar, 
of, of, of lower quality or, you know, today, the only thing left to talk about, if there is no quality in a guitar, then the only thing left to talk about is price. This one costs this much, this one costs this much, just that. It doesn't go beyond this cheap uh, story of the price, because the price has nothing to do with the quality. Nothing. That's for sure. Yeah. Because the quality is the quality. And the price is the price. You can get I an mean, expensive, nice guitar. It is made also this economic instrument. Even I bought it one. So, of course, these are good guitars. And then from there, because if I, if I am used to play with an instrument that, that can give me the sound that I, I can potentially have, unless I have that, if, if, if a guitar doesn't even tune, then what to speak of beauty coming out of it? It will never happen. It will never happen. And also what Paco said is that, because with the guitar you practice every day. This is your reference. And then, therefore, any guitar that you practice with, this is the, the your reference of sound, of how to, you know, when you practice anything, scales or... You will see the, the quality of the sound or the lack of it if the guitar doesn't have quality. You don't have quality in the sound. <laughs> this is just very, very important to know it. And then, therefore, that's why I helped so much with this thing now. <laughs>